Do you want some food? Do you want some food? a realistic day in the life of a full-time artist. I've made one of these before, but I want to do another one just because I feel like they're really fun to make and watch. Um, today, we're just going to be going through my routine. You've seen a bit of it already. It's going to be a very chill day at home. I have a lot of random things to get done, um, and we're just going to do it together. Some things off the top of my head that I know I have to do are pack a bunch of Patreon mail. I haven't done that yet this month, and my stickers are in, so those really have to go out. Um, I also would like to do some inventory because I'm waiting on my calendars to come in. The printers told me they would be shipped out this week, so I'm hoping to open my shop next week. So I just want to be ready for, for whenever the calendars come in and I can just like photograph them, open my shop ASAP. So I'm going to be doing a lot of shopkeeping things, going to be looking at my website a bit, kind of cleaning it up. Oh, and I also would want to finish glazing some stuff because I got some pieces back yesterday from the studio. So yeah, that's what we're going to do today. Okay, so I'm going to start packing up my Patreon mail and I'm going to be using my Flexi Spot desk to do that. And what better time than to thank today's sponsor, which is Flexi Spot. I've been using Flexi Spot's products for, I guess, like two plus years now. Having a standing desk is really such a game changer. If you work from home, you find yourself sitting at your desk for super long hours. If you're an artist, which I know many of you are, a lot of us spend hours and hours at our desks, hunched over, drawing, crafting, and it's just not really great for your body to be so sedentary. I used to have a lot of back pain, but ever since getting like one of these flexi spot desks, I've really noticed a big improvement in how my body feels, and it just makes it so easy to stand and work. Um, I actually have this other standing desk here that's from Ikea, but I notice because it's not electric, I notice I don't use it as much. <laughs> I just keep it down. Flexi spot desks come with like this little control pad um, that allows you to like push up the desk up and down super easily with just the press of a button. Mine is super cool and has these like little sit stand buttons. You can pre-program the height. So it just kind of builds that like standing up workflow into your life. So I really can't recommend their desks enough. Mine's a nice bamboo one. You can also go on their website and like customize um, your desk. So I was able to like get a larger tabletop, pick out bamboo with like white legs. So it's just really nice to be able to customize that. Everything is super high quality and I can't recommend it enough. Their products are just great investments um, for your home office. And also thank you so much to FlexiSpot for partnering with me. So they are having a FlexiSpot Amazon Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale from November 25th to November 28th, where you can get up to 50% off certain products. Also, apparently, if you're the first to check out on each of the three days, you might get your order for free. They said they're gonna do three free orders a day, which is pretty cool. So thank you so much, FlexiSpot, and let's continue the video. <laughs>
Guys, mom. Oh my goodness. Guys, mom. Guys, mom. I'm still packing, um, but I'm kind of losing steam, so I thought I would just do a little chit chat. And then after I fill all these envelopes, I need to put the stamps on um, of all these. So <laughs> it'll probably take me another like 30 minutes, 45 minutes to finish. Um, I always forget how long this takes because I think I started around 10 um, and now it's noon. So it probably takes me like three hours total to pack Patreon mail every month, um, which isn't bad, but I just always forget that it, it does take a while. My income every month fluctuates a lot. Like on my shop update months, like I'm doing real good. And then when my shop closes, I'm like, ugh, it's a little tight. My shop has been closed for a while, so I'm just kind of itching to get it open so I can like feel kind of okay about where my business is at. But I'm just waiting on those calendars. I don't know when they're gonna get here. And I am gonna be visiting my family. Um, I'm super excited to go back in early December. I'm not gonna be there for the actual holidays because I kind of just wanted to skip out on the crazy holiday rush. I don't like being in the airport um, on like Christmas, Thanksgiving time. It's just so crazy. The planes are always packed. I hate traveling. Um, I despise planes in the airport. And also the tickets were so expensive. They're so expensive to go back um, this year. Like I bought them pretty in advance and the flights to New York were like 1400, which is really high for what they normally are. So. I'm glad I'm going a bit earlier. My my tickets were like a decent price and I get to avoid all the holiday rush. Um, but since I'm gonna be gone in early December, I sort of wanted to get my shop update over with before I left. I guess there's just like a bit of anxiety there because I just wanna get the shop update over with so I can like feel better about my finances and my business. Um, and also it's gonna be my last shop update of the year and I wanna get it done with because I don't really wanna do it when I come back from New York because then there's just going to be like the holiday rush of like um, all these packages going out to the post office and like gifts being sent and I wanna kind of avoid that um, so people can get their stuff on time. So I've also just been a little bit anxious about the future lately, I feel like one of the unfortunate realities of being self-employed and doing this kind of thing, being a freelance artist, is like, there's a lot of uncertainty you need to be okay with. Being self-directed all the time can be a little, I guess, difficult. Because typically I, I am pretty good at managing myself and just deciding, okay, I should be doing this right now. I should be doing this right now. Like, but during these like off seasons of my shop, like when my shop is closed, I'm waiting for new products to arrive. Sometimes like I feel kind of antsy because I want my shop to be open and I, I just kind of like don't know what I should be doing. There's like this added mental challenge of um, just making those decisions for yourself. Um, also because like you have the most stake in it because when you work for a company like yeah you want your company to succeed but it's like it's a job right so but when it's you it's like I need to live so like the success of my company is directly related to like my well-being and my livelihood so there's just that added anxiety of like is this the right decision and should I be doing this right now and if not like what will the consequences be for me I don't know I think I am just like kind of more anxious lately anyways just because um, my period's coming. I don't know if anyone else experienced this, my menstruating friends out there, but when my period comes, like way more emotional, uh, increased irritability, like things just kind of set me off. Like typically things that wouldn't annoy me, I get like a little bit irritated by. And definitely the anxiety comes a lot as well. And I, I, I don't know, I really love my job. I love just like doing whatever I want when I want. So I guess like the thing I was talking about before with decision-making, like it is a downside obviously, but um, it will never outweigh what I believe are the pros. Like I love working by myself. Like I love being independent. We've all been in school and had those group projects where like you do all the work. So <laughs> like working in a team definitely feels nice when you have like nice team members, but I've been a part of so many like group things where like I end up being the one to do everything. So it's just nice to work by myself, like be in charge of things. Just like this kind of independence and agency that I've never had in any other job. So it's 12.02 right now. I'm not done with my Patreon mail, um, but I thought I would just make lunch because I'm pretty hungry. Wait, fuck, do I have ramen still? So I guess I'll use so. What? Did you get fed yet? Oh, he didn't get his lunch yet. Oh, you're so hungry.
Mr. Hungry! But like 26 cents, dude. Information is for you. Um, for he hates the pink poofy. Cause no, try out the pink poofy. Just poofie. relax, moms. Just let it let it take you away. Just let it take you away. Pink poofy, you love the pink poofy. Got some dandruff, dude. Lily, relax you. He's gonna chop out. Just to exit. You love pink poofy. Yep. All done packing my Patreon mail. This is all gonna go out to the post office. Thank you so much, patrons. But now I'm feeling really tired. I always forget like kind of how how much work packing up all those envelopes is. Right now is 1.02 p.m. I was going to just kind of work on some shop stuff like inventory and website things kind of fixing it up for the shop update I hope to have in a few days. I'm in the same exact spot, but several things have happened. I finished this bag of M&Ms. I've eaten a spoonful of Nutella. I went to the bathroom and I spent approximately one hour researching how to ship ceramics. Um, Cause my shop update's gonna come up and I wanna sell some of my ceramic stuff and I have more stuff coming out of the kiln. Um, I figured it was high time to learn how to ship them properly. And there's so many YouTube videos about it because so many potters have online stores. And I definitely learned a lot. I learned that there's pretty much a bunch of different ways to ship them properly. I think the main thing you wanna do is make sure there's enough padding around your ceramic. So like you want a box that's big enough to have the your ceramic piece wrapped up but with like other things around it um, as like absorbent packaging. Yeah, I was really on the fence about like bubble wrap and um, a YouTuber I really like watching who's a ceramicist is Florian Gadsby and he uses like foam and bubble wrap. Um, and I was like, uh, his, his method looks really secure, but also I really don't wanna have to use a fuck ton of plastic because if I have to, I will, but I've been doing some more research and I do see a lot of other YouTubers um, use things like corrugated, like a corrugated roll. So I bought a lot of those biodegradable packing peanuts. It was like $60, but it's gonna be a big bag. So hopefully I can use it. For the inside, I thought about getting bubble wrap, but I don't know, maybe I will down the line if something breaks, but for now I'm gonna try try it with um, the honeycomb paper wrap. I'm gonna try, try and wrapping it a lot really well. Um, I might reach out to some of my friends who sell pots as well just to see what they do. Um, Cause yeah, I'm kind of nervous about things breaking. So yeah, hopefully they don't. Right now what I'm doing is I'm just grading my bags because I notice not all of them are perfect. So I'm going to be discounting these just for $5 because I don't think it's that big of a irregularity in the bag. Like it still works fine. It's still super cute. It's not super noticeable. Um, but for example, there's like little marks on some of them. That might come out with like water or something. Sometimes I think it might be like dirt when it was getting printed or shipped to somewhere or sometimes there's like a little blue line that could be like a pen mark. Sometimes the stitching on the individual bags is a bit weird. Um, so yeah, they're just B grades. They're gonna be 25 instead of 30.
Okay, it's 3.45, I'm starting to lose steam. This is around the time of the day where I just lay down. I become horizontal and I lay down for like 30 minutes. <laughs> and um, if I finish all the stuff I have to do for the day, sometimes I'll just give myself a shorter work day. Because I am kind of like a very focused worker when I have a task, I'm kind of like lasered in. I work very um, intensely. Um, I tell myself, you know, if you finish what you need to do for the day, you don't need to keep going because I know when I do work, I am quite zoned in. I'm drawing, but my creativity had become pretty rigid in my teenage years, and I mostly drew from my friends because I didn't really know how to come up with I'm gonna just glaze for the rest of the day and then I think I'm gonna cut this vlog off short. Um, I know my last day in the life, I kind of filmed myself like cooking and kind of like my evening, but because I'm going to cook butternut squash pasta again and I just did that like two videos ago, I'm just not gonna film that again. <laughs> um, so you can just imagine <laughs> me cooking. I got this mug back. It's super cute. I really love the shape, but unfortunately I kind of messed up this handle connection point right here, I don't know if you can tell. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna be keeping this for myself. I do like it, it's pretty good construction. The handle feels quite good. But yeah, I just messed up that um, connection point. All right, this is gonna be my outro. I wanna thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you like this little day in the life hang out with me video. Um, thank you to FlexiSpot for sponsoring. Um, don't forget to check out their little sale that they're having in a few days. Um, all, the, all the links will be in my description box. Um, Thank you to my patrons for supporting me. Without my patrons, none of this operation would happen. Um, so thank you so much to my patrons and thank you to you for watching and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.